Hello and welcome to Planning My Escape, Episode 6. Um, I'd hoped at this point to be out shooting my documentary. It's not going to happen. The weather is absolutely atrocious today. It is cold, it is wet, it's a little windy. Um, and it ain't any weather to be out shooting. Um, of course, if I was an English documentarian, you wouldn't be doing any shooting because this is mostly the weather they get. But luckily in Toronto, this is uh, something that's almost worth uh, worth just sort of uh, sticking out. I'm, I'm hoping it's supposed to clear up this afternoon, so I might uh, might be able to get get started then. And if not, I'm going to do it on tomorrow. Unfortunately, I had hoped to be in a position to post that today. I'm, I'm posting this instead um, because I'm really going to follow the perseverance course here and uh, in terms of doing that, that means getting out at least two, hopefully three videos a week. Um, I'll probably continue doing these anyway and, uh, and using them to talk about other stuff. I, I mean, but what I'd really like to talk about today is persever perseverance because I think that it's really a key to a lot of things. Uh, the biggest one being, I mean, improvement and success. Because it, I, I think the whole concept of, of an overnight sensation is, is one that it's, it's a myth and it does not exist. Because most of the things, when you start looking into it, those overnight success uh, stories took five years. They took two years. They took. I mean, some happen faster than others, but nothing. Nothing gets built overnight. Um, and this isn't the first time I'm doing the YouTube thing. Last time, to be quite honest with you, I got into it. I started, um, and then I just lost steam because I didn't find there was any interest. I was finding it hard to come up with things to talk about, um, and it's it's why I stopped. In terms of this one, what's in terms of this project, what's interesting in in comparison is that um, I've been able to use this really as a, a, a means of just sort of personal diary. Uh, but it's led to other ideas, including the series that I'm I'm starting on that I think is really going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, not tooting my own horn or anything, but. Um, I think I finally found something that's worth talking about that that sort of suits a lot of my skills that I really enjoy doing and also is something that I can take on the road eventually uh, once uh, we're effectively allowed to travel again because I think that most most places you go to uh, have all kinds of, of sort of hidden history that people don't know about, uh, you walk right by every day and you don't really take into context. Um, and uh, I think those stories should be told. Uh, and I think that I might be the person to do it. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, just a short update to uh, tell you that I'm alive. I'm going to continue in my persevering to have some sort of success doing this by uh, doing my part and producing two or three videos a week. Uh, here's another installment. Uh, sorry it isn't the documentary, but that is coming. Um, I'll hopefully have that out early in the week, mattering on weather more than anything else, because I got to shoot all kinds of stuff uh, outside, and I don't plan to doing. I don't plan to do it in weather like this. This is weather where you get pneumonia. Anyway, I'll take uh, take care, and uh, we'll talk soon. <laughs> bye bye for now.